this is Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. Thanks for coming by for another video. In this video, I have a finish. Yay! Finally, I have a finish. Um, these are from Paint Gems. I am an affiliate with Paint Gems, so if you like these and you want to work on some smaller paintings, then hop over to their website and use my code and you can save a little bit of money. I may earn a small commission if you do that. Um, there is no obligation, no worries. Just wanted to let you know because these are becoming very popular. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate, but I really do like these. They have more variety than they originally did. And I have just kitted up and unboxed the Christmas edition. And so you can see that on my channel as well. The Christmas ones are really cute. So I'm gonna start on those next, but it's probably gonna be um, end of November, first part of December, because I do like to go by the seasons, um, but they are gonna be extremely cute. I'll put the link up in the eye in case um, you want to look at that unboxing. So what I'm gonna do today, I want to show you all of the doggy edition. I'm also going to put them in a small binder, and then you'll see another video where I am going to kit this down. So what I've done, and it was really funny because I had this little notebook, and it's an A5 notebook. I've had it for a long time, didn't know what to do with it. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna see if these will fit in there, and they fit perfectly. So then I went over to Rebecca's channel at uh, Four Kids at 147 or Add More or Add More Zest. And she actually had the same thing. I don't know if it was the same binder, but she set hers up very similar to how I planned on setting up mine. So um, thanks to Rebecca for that um, video. And she also has a cover that her daughter made and she's selling these. It was a dollar. So I'm not sure how much that equated over into the US, but I went ahead and purchased that because um, I am not good with going in and doing something like this. Um, I have tried several times um, when I was trying to do digital scrapbooking and never could master it. And so I am assuming that she went in something like um, Paint Shop or something like that. So anyway, I went ahead and purchased it. It was easier for me to purchase that than for me to have to do it. So that's what it looks like. It just shows exactly what they have on the website for paint gems. So I thought it was really cute, it's appropriate. So I went ahead and I did purchase that. I did get um, a while back, I had bought this um, little notebook and I did it through Amazon. I was going to use it um, as a mini scrapbook and never did. So I decided, well, I'm gonna see if this works and it sure did, so this is perfect. I had quite a bit of drills left. I did run out of one and that was M, these are sideways. It was M3799 and I just happened to have some in my stash so um, if they um, are listening at Paint Jam, then may want to know that you may want to add some more of $37.99 into this kit. Hopefully that's already been done. I have bought this a while back. So I'm gonna move this over because I will not need the drills anymore. The drills were very good. I only had just a little bit of trash. I'll show you that. You can hardly see. There's just a few in the bottom there. I will show that more whenever I go to kit down, but not bad at all. And the only issue I had was that um, the drills were either too small or they had the little dents, the little holes in the top. Um, and so that was a problem. And so I didn't use those. Okay, so what I did is that, uh oh, this goes over here. What I did was, and I also bought the, so she had some labels, went ahead and bought those as well so I wouldn't have to make them. I'm a little lazy on that part. So this binder comes with, I'm not sure how many sheets, I can't remember, but 
and it's not the best quality, but it works for this. That's why I didn't use it for scrapbooking. But what I did was very similar to what I do with my smaller paintings is that I use cardstock. I have plenty of cardstock because I am a card maker, but I will also put that underneath my Amazon link if you're interested. This is really good quality cardstock. I got, I think it was 100 in this pack. You don't need that many. I could not find the size for this A5 little binder. So I just had to buy the eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And then I used my trimmer, which is Stampin' Up, you can use any trimmer. I used my trimmer, I just cut these down to the right size, and then I kept the other, um, the remnants, so I could use those when I make my cards. So let me show you, I went ahead, I did all of them except for two. I wanna show you how I did this. So let me go ahead and do, actually I have three. I am not going to do this cute little pug. And Carrie, this one is for you. I am going to send this to you. Um, you know how bad I am about mailing things, but I am going to get this to you. If it is in your Christmas card, I'll put it there. If not, I will go ahead and get it in the mail soon. But my really good friend, Carrie, absolutely loves pugs. She has two right now, a mama and the baby. And the baby is actually, I think, seven, which is hard to believe. Or maybe that's the mama. I can't remember. Anyway, sorry, Carrie. But I thought this turned out really cute. My daughter, Maddie, now has a pug. And I think her pug is around six or seven. Um, she has recently gotten her pug, uh, I guess about six months or so, uh, maybe a year by now. And she absolutely loves Hattie. So her name is Maddie, the dog's name is Hattie, and the dog's name was already Hattie. So when, when my daughter Maddie saw this dog and the, um, the breeder was actually going to use, sell her, Maddie said, this is the right thing because her name is close to mine. So that was her reason for getting a dog, but the dog has been really good. So Maddie, if you're watching this, I'll have to make you another one if you want one. You probably don't. But if you do, just tell mama and I'll do it for you. Okay, otherwise it's going to carry. So I have these two and what I'm gonna do here, it's very easy. And I do this, like I said, with my, with my other um, kits. I have some double-sided adhesive here. It's just double-sided tape. And you don't need a lot. This is very, very sticky. And this is from American Crafts. I will link something that is either American Crafts or very similar. I have a lot of this tape. I use a lot of it. So it works out perfect because I can use a lot of my, my stash with my, um, my kit. So that makes it really nice. So I'm just gonna put it on two sides. If you wanna put it on all four, you can. I really don't see a need in it because it does stick very well. Now, if you want to put these in frames, I wouldn't do this. I'm not gonna put any of these in a frame. And then you just take this, it's gonna be hard to see the way I'm standing. And you're going to just peel it back. Betty, I'm back. I bet you didn't even know that I left. For some reason, the video, the recording just stopped. And so I went to edit it and there was nothing there except the half the beginning of my video. So I did go ahead and put these in my little binder here and not realizing that it was not recording properly, but I wanted to show you what this looks like. And also just to let you know that I will put the, um, the, the link for this binder. I did not get mine at Amazon, but mine is identical to what is in at Amazon. And then also I will put the link to add more zest. So if you are interested in purchasing any of her covers, she has a cover for every um, paint gem collection. And as far as I know she does. And so I purchased several of those when I purchased this one. So that way I'll have them on hand and they look so good. It looks almost professional on the front and it's a lot better than I could even think about doing. 
So here's what this looks like. And it's not real bulky. I'm going to put this on my um, shelf in my craft room. But here's a collie. And I absolutely love collies. I have um, a collie now, Molly. And so I really want to do a large painting or at least a 40 by 50 of a collie. I cannot find any canvases that are really good quality that's a, a collie. So if any of you ever see that, please let me know where you saw it and I will definitely take a look. I did not put any on the back side of my binder because I was afraid that it would um, sag it down. So I just did the fronts. Had plenty of room with some left over. And this one's a Doberman. Then I have the English Cocker Spaniel and the Chihuahua, the German Shepherd, the French Bulldog. All these turned out really, really cute. The Husky, Poodle, the Pitbull, the Corgi. St. Bernard, the Yorkshire Terrier. This looks just like my sister's dog, and her dog is um, a little terrier, and her name is Onion. Not my sister, but the dog. And I don't know where she came up with the name Onion, but for some reason, Onion is perfect for her dog. She is so, so sweet. And she always wears little bows in her hair, and she has little skirts, so my sister puts clothes on her. Then I have a Bull Terrier, a Jack Russell, Scottish Terrier, and then that's it. And then I have all of these left over. I could have taken some out in the middle, but I was afraid that this would maybe fall apart. So I don't care if I have empty pages. It does not bother me at all. I did not put them in the same order that's on here. Um, I just didn't want to. I could, but that wasn't really important to me. I just wanted to have the collie on the top. Other than that, it was all good. And then the pug, again, does not go in there. That will be sent to my um, friend Carrie. And so that one I will mail soon, or hope to. But this really didn't take long to put together. It did not take long for the... Um, the actual diamond painting. And I think this would make really cute gifts. They have several different collections, so go check them out. They were having a sale, and I checked yesterday, which was Wednesday. They still had a sale, and you could still use my code if you want to save a little bit more money. And um, again, no pressure there, but if you want to save a little bit of money, you can use my code, my affiliate code. I may earn a small commission off of that, but I um, wanted you to save a little bit more money because these are so popular and they're so much fun just to grab and go and put it in a bag. If you're going out of town, it's easy to work on in the car. I did a lot of these on my um, at work on my lunch hour, and so um, that's fun too. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you join us. And if you don't mind, please click on that like, vi that like button before you um, leave. And again, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate all of you and happy diamond painting. Bye. Bye.